So after I posted uh, the video on the Tony Systems Optics plate for my Beretta 92X RDO, and I, uh, in an earlier video, touched on the factory optics mounting plate, um, someone on the Tony Systems plate video uh, recommended to me reaching out to a Reddit user by the name of D-Law, uh, D-L-A-H-H-H, -H -H, uh, because apparently he's making his own optic plate. So I reached out to him. Uh, and I gave him my name, address, preferred payment uh, method, which was Venmo, and the optics mounting platform I wanted. He takes Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal. Uh, this whole package was $130.20, and, and, 20 cents, and um, he shipped it two days after I placed the order, which means he got a machine for me that quickly. Uh, it arrived two days after shipping, um, so I wanted to show everything it comes with. Uh, he does include a modified firing pin safety block, which is already installed in my gun, so this is the factory one just to show. Um, but the new firing pin safety block, uh, it's been machined down to get the optics plate lower without this interfering with it, and then he touches up the finish on it with some cold blue, which is fantastic. Um, he includes very clear uh, and concise instructions with full torque specs, which is fantastic. Um, you get the optic plate, you get the screws that mount it to the slide, and then these are the screws for the optic in question, and um, they have already been cut to exactly the perfect length for mounting the optic and not protruding through the bottom of the optic plate at all. So this is really like a ready-to-go package. I wanted the uh, Hollow Sun 507 and 407K footprint. Um, I was running an RMR on the top of my gun, and uh, with this firearm, it, the Berettas, the slide profile is funky, and even this low of an optic plate or something like that, um, the, the optic sticks up really high, and it looks funky because it's so wide, so I wanted to go with the Hollow Sun uh, uh, K footprint and a hollow sun 407 K optic to keep it as small as possible um, on my slide So generally looking at the optic plate the machining is of uh, moderate quality um, But I've been uh, going back and forth with him and I know uh, what uh, Machining capabilities he has and this is good for the machining capabilities He has and most importantly the areas where it shows the machining looks really nice um, nice bevels, nice machining quality. He does really good uh, finish passes and stuff. So all of this rougher looking stuff is going to be covered up by the optic and then, you know, facing down on the slide uh, as well. Um, I like his design. It's uh, 7075 T6 aluminum, which is great for um, strength and weight savings. It's, it's better than 6061. Uh, you know, it's extremely light. It's extremely low. Um, and he's uh, contoured it very nicely on the bottom side. It sits around the slide and uh, hugs it very nicely. It sits very low, um, and the reason he's able to get that is that he does uh, modify the firing pin safety block. I was ready to do that myself, but it's even better that he just, you know, includes it. Wanted to do a little bit of a better look at how well this uh, optics mounting plate hugs the contours of the slides uh, and how low it sits and you can see that I already have the firing pin safety block in there and you can see it sits below the level of the slide and then comes up and you know doesn't hit the uh, the optics plate or anything like that and it works totally fine there's there's no other issues with it it's just slightly lowered um, it slides up and down there fine it's not r rocking or binding or anything like that and I love that he takes the time to touch up the finish on it as well being that it is a steel part so yeah this is just it's really good it's really impressive um, so I'm not worried about this um, you know maintaining zero or anything like that I, I think it's a very robust design what I will do is as I get more rounds um, through this gun with this optics plate and setup um, I will be adding a update comments uh, under this video to let people know how it's going. Um, I was hesitant about that amount of uh, thread engagement on the plate to the slide interface, but I measured it and compared it to the factory optics plate in the Tony systems, and it's exactly the same. So that's great there. Um, and then of course, because uh, 
there is these uh, thread bosses extending up out of the plate. Uh, there is a ton of thread depth engagement on the optic mounting screws, which is fantastic as well. The factory firing pin safety block is on the left and the firing pin safety block included with the optics mount is on the right which is a factory part that is then modified and the difference in height between those is 1.83 millimeters or 72 thousandths here's showing the uh, machined top of the uh, firing pin safety block that has been refinished which is a nice touch on the left here i am showing the uh, optic mounting screws that have been um, ground flush with the bottom of the optic plate and already trimmed for length which is very nice and on the right i'm just showing the optic plate as it sits on the uh, slide of the beretta and um, the uh, firing pin safety block that is included with the optic plate is installed in the pistol so I use the rear sight as my datum for all of these measurements and the D-Law optic plate is 5.4 millimeters or 213 thousandths uh, below the rear sight. The factory Beretta plate is 2.5 millimeters or 98 thousandths below the rear sight. And the Tony Systems plate is 1.15 millimeters or 45 thousandths below the rear sight at the rear of the plate as it does have a forward cant to it. So that means that the D-Law plate is 2.9 millimeters or 114 thousandths lower than the factory plate and 4.25 or 167 thousandths lower than the Tony Systems plate. So the D-Law optic plate uh, with its hardware to mount it to the slide is 0.226 ounces. The factory Beretta plate is a ridiculous 1.71 ounces and the Tony Systems plate with its associated hardware is 0.549 ounces. So that means that the D-Law plate is 1.48 ounces lighter than the factory plate and 0.323 ounces lighter than the Tony Systems plate. Um, of course, these measurements include all the necessary hardware to mount it to the slide, but not the optic or optic mounting screws for an apples to apples comparison. Uh, right here is the side profile of the D-Law plate on the left the Tony Systems plate in the middle and the factory Beretta plate on the right. And of course, you know, it's not an apples to apples comparison because I'm using the Hollow Sun uh, 407 uh, optic rather than the Trigicon RMR on the left. Um, but you can see how much lower it sits. And then here is the rear profile, uh, Beretta factory on the left, Tony Systems in the middle, D-Law on the right. And again, not apples to apples, but uh, you can see that the profile, the width and the height of the Hollow Sun K optic is, is a lot better suited to the slide profile of the Beretta and um, the, the Beretta factory and the Tony systems with an RMR. And it just looks goofy because there's so much hanging over the narrow top of the slide. Um, so another thing I'll mention is that uh, the guy who makes these, he is on YouTube. Um, he will see this video. I made sure to ask him. Um, if it's okay if I make a video on his optic plate, and I've been uh, going back and forth with him about his design and um, his optic plate and machining process and all that, so I can get as much information as I can. Uh, I will only be referring to him as D-Law. I will not um, put his real name out there or link to his YouTube channel or anything like that. I prefer to stay anonymous, and, and um, I'm going to assume other people do too, but... Uh, Maybe he'll pop in in the comment section here and can answer questions or um, give more information on his optic plates, what is offered, pricing, uh, things like that. When this plate came in, there was um, some burrs and stuff on it. Uh, there was some burrs here. There were some burrs on the back side here, but everything was super easy to take off with either a small file or a twist of burr. I'm not too worried about that. Um, and I reached out to him. My optic wasn't sitting on there. And it's because this part right here was a little bit too close to the back of the optic. And then also these posts were too high. Or well, one of them was too high. So I measured my optic in question and sent him the measurements. And it appears that possibly the specs for the recoil lug pockets on the Hollow Sun 407 and 507K have changed. Uh, so I'm definitely not, you know, gonna, gonna put that on him. Uh, it was really quick and easy just to file one of these down, you know, a fraction of a millimeter to, to get the optic to sit down on there. 
um, perfectly flat. So um, I think it's a great design. I think it's a great piece. The machining quality is good where it counts and where it's going to be seen. And it's a robust, low light design. Um, and with the hardware and the firing pin safety block and the instructions included, it was 130 bucks, which is a bit steep. You know, the Tony systems was 90, but this is better than the Tony systems. This is better than the factory optics plate. And also, um, I, I love seeing people, um, getting out there and making their own stuff and innovating. And so I don't mind paying that price for, uh, you know, someone's, someone's time, effort, design work, um, their machining and their attention to detail and stuff, which clearly, you know, he puts a lot of time into machining these and they, they turn out great. Um, I would love to see finish options on this, but I know that's uh, a bit difficult. Um, I'm going to try to anodize this black myself. Um, I have access to electrochemistry stuff at work. Uh, so stay tuned for a video on DIY anodizing. I'm going to, um, also include some scanning electron microscopy because I have access to a desktop SEM at the shared tooling lab at my work. Um, so, uh, but overall, I think this is great. And, and I'm, I'm uh, confident in saying that this is the best optics mounting platform for the Beretta RDO factory cut outside of the Langdon tactical one. Um, and the great thing about this is, is he offers plates for pretty much every common optic platform uh, and footprint out there. So I would definitely uh, recommend reaching out to him and getting a hold of one of these if you have the Beretta RDO system and you want to put an optic on it. Um, I believe, I truly believe this is the best way to go, and I would, I would love to see this guy get more support uh, and. Um, more money and, and be able to maybe open up some of his capabilities and stuff because he's doing a really awesome job.